Hi, my name is Antonio Maradiaga, and I'll be taking you through the ASCP developer portal today. So we're going to navigate to developer.arindo.com. This URL will vary depending on where your SAP Arriba Realm is located. For example, if your Realm is located in the EU region, the URL will be eu.developer.arriba.com. If you're watching this video, it is likely because your company has an SAP Arriba subscription. Also, it is possible that your company already has access to the SAP Arriba Developer Portal. If you don't have access, you will need to sign up. For an SAP Arriba customer, this step will need to be carried out by a designated support contact. She or he will need to request access to the developer portal by filling a form. I'll include a link on how to request this access. In case you wonder who the designated support contact is, the DSC is the main point of contact between SAP Arriba and your company. It is basically the administrator of the SAP Arriba subscription at your company. The DSC will also know in which region is the company's SAP Arriba realm located. In case you are unable to get access to the SAP Arriba developer portal, you can always check out the SAP Arriba APIs via the SAP API Business Hub. I will cover this later in the video. Let's assume you have access and try to log in. Click the sign in as SAP Arriba customer. Now we enter a username and password and we select the realm that we want to connect to. You can see that we have different options here and depending on where your realm is located, we will need to select one of the different data centers. Let's click sign in. We're now in the home screen. We can create an app or navigate to the documentation. Before creating an application, let's navigate a bit through the portal. Let's go to the Discover section. In Discover, you will be able to see the different tabs along the top of the screen. They organize the APIs available into functional areas. Every functional area will contain one or more APIs. As you can see in the analytics, we have multiple APIs for analytics. Let's go for to supplier management APIs and navigate to the supplier data API with pagination. For every API, there will be a brief description. Also, there will be a direct link to the documentation of the API. In help.sap.com, we'll be able to find the documentation for all the SAP Arriba APIs. Now let's go back to the portal. Also in the portal, there's important information regarding the rate limit of our API. This will vary depending on the API. Um, we also have environment details. In the environment details, we have, for example, the sandbox URL. We also have the production and test URLs. Sandboxes, uh, you don't require access to an SAP Arriba Realm. You can just uh, query the API and it will bring back dummy data. In the case of the production and test realms, uh, this will grant you access to your realm. So you'll be interacting with live data. We also have the OAuth server URL. This is the URL that we require in order to um, authenticate against our API. Okay. You can also see the download API spec. Uh, the download API spec, let's click on it. This will end up downloading a Swagger 2.0 file. This file, you can input it in a tool like Postman and send requests to the API. Now let's scroll down a bit. Uh, we can see the different methods that are available for the API. Um, and for let's look at the vendor data request here you'll see for example uh, the parameters also that are available in the case of the, this particular method you can send a request uh, which is expected as a body we also have um, different parameters query parameters that we can specify and there's also uh, the realm which is important and the api key which is a header parameter so notice that there whenever a parameter is required we'll specify if it's a header or a query parameter in the API documentation, we can even test the API. If we use the try it out button, we can specify a request and the different parameters, and we can send a request to the API by clicking the execute button. Also, all the SAP Arriba APIs can be accessed via the SAP API Business Hub, as mentioned earlier. So let's go to spi.sap.com. And here we can just search for SAP Arriba APIs. And you'll see that we have all the APIs to say here. Let's navigate to supplier data API. This is the latest version. And we can see here, basically the same that uh, we were seeing before. The different methods, 
the different parameters and everything that we need to query this API. If you're familiar with the API Business Hub and have application details with you, you can use that website to interact with the API. In the next video, I will show you how to create an application and the approval process. Stay tuned.